Welcome back to Across Louisiana. Again, it has been one humdinger of a show and we appreciate you being with us so very much. And uh, we are now joined by the legis excuse me, the government relations director for the American Cancer Society, and that is Andrew Mull. And Andrew, thank you so much for being with us. We really appreciate it. Happy to be here. You know, the legislature is, seems to be a battle royal every year, but this is a little more contentious than even normal, it seems. But there's a big reason why you're here to talk uh, about the legislative process and what's going on. And we're talking about losing funding for breast cancer and cervical cancer screenings. And tell us what's going on, what, what's happening. Well, you're absolutely right. And, you know, it, it's been a tough year, and you're right. Uh, and we understand that uh, there's, you know, there's a need to tighten the belt and there's a need to, uh, to look at making cuts, um, you know, where, where, where we can. Uh, our feeling is, though, we, we shouldn't be putting those cuts on the backs of women. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we learned earlier this week that uh, there's been uh, dramatic cuts to health care. And what this is going to do is it's going to eliminate treatment for breast and cervical cancer. Wow, wow that is... And these are two diseases that, if caught early enough, 98% for breast cancer, 91% survivability for cervical cancer. These things can be prevented, or at least treated. Right, and, and it's a, and it's, and it's a two-tier cut that we're facing because we also have a breast and cervical screening program that is uh, specifically early detection. What it does is it, it provides free mammograms and pap tests to women who are eligible for, for that screening. And so it detects that cancer early. And so when you detect it early, you have uh, lower treatment costs, you have a greater uh, uh, chance of survival. So we're in, in jeopardy of losing that program. But we're also in jeopardy of losing uh, dollars that help treat those that help treat those women. So if cancer is detected, uh, and they, they don't have insurance and uh, you know, they, they don't have that access, um, they're losing those treatment dollars as well. And so it, it's a significant issue for us and you know, the American Cancer Society is, is committed to, to uh, reduce that cancer incidence and cancer burden and we do that through uh, early detection and through right. access to care. Right, the sooner you find out, the, the easier it is to treat and the less, as you said, the less expensive it is. Absolutely. Uh, how, many, how, much, how much money are we talking about? Well, we're talking about several million dollars, and you know, and, and the, the bigger picture is is, is uh, uh, potentially hundreds of millions of dollars in, in the in the, uh, the healthcare landscape, and mm -hmm. so, uh, and it's and it's hard to put an exact dollar on it, and it's hard, and, and, and but what we look at it is really the face of the woman that's going through this, and and we understand again that that it's a, it's a tight year, but what we're asking is, don't put this on the backs of women, you know, right. put this right. put you know. Um, try to try to work out uh, the, the you know the issues that you have and, uh, and and spare these very important programs that not only save lives but also save healthcare dollars and save treatment dollars and save the state money over the long term. All right, what should people do? They're in the, the legislative session ends in just a couple of weeks. What are you asking people to do? We're asking people to call their legislators. You, you have a House and a Senate member, so we're asking them to call the you know call the Capitol switchboard, call the the. the uh, their office in, uh, in your hometown and call them and say, look, please restore health care funding. Please ensure that these women have access to these treatment dollars. You can go to our Facebook page, which is uh, Keep Louisiana Women Covered, uh, and, and you, can, you can be a fan of that page. You'll get regular updates on where we are in the process and how you can get more involved. You can also visit our website, which is acscan.org, which is a, a, a great way to get uh, involved in the process and, uh, and, and, and learn more about how you can uh, help help this issue. Andrew Mull, thank you so very much. An important issue, especially with the state legislature in session right now, battling over these dollars. When we come back, we will wrap things up. We will be back right after this. You are watching Across Louisiana, exclusively on Cox 4.